Hello everyone and welcome to game two in the series between White Raw and Braddock here on Antigua Shipyard. I believe this is going to be the Battle.net version of the map as there is not any force cross spawns and we'll see what comes down here. I really like the Battle.net version of the map more than say the force cross spawn positions just because of the way the map is situated and and the number of options you have even though spawning clockwise or counterclockwise to your opponent does have a bit of a difference um, in enabling or allowing this third base to be exposed close to destructible rocks right now braddock most likely not in a very comfortable position once he realizes where he has spawned he can still lift off a command center establish this and open it up by taking these rocks as well so both options are very viable <clears throat> and and I really like the fact that this is not a very, uh, like, this is not a forced cross spawn map like the MLG version. Anyways, let's get a, take a look into this game. It looks like Brad is going or Braddock is going to be opening up with a supply depot and a barracks over here on the front door. We'll see if he goes for gas. Meanwhile, White Raw should be um, scouting after the gateway here. It looks as though he's going to be just continuing the Chrono Boost. Now getting up that gateway. Nope, he is not setting up a gateway. He is going to instead go for a very fast Nexus, perhaps. Um, a fast Nexus is one of those options that really gives a Protoss player um, a really strong economic advantage. Marines and Marauders simply cannot battle, battle their way through um, gateway units until Stim is researched. And with Stim, I believe taking 170 seconds, almost three minutes worth of time, and it, it does allow White Raw to perhaps open up and do a little bit more damage and, and get more units than say the normal standard game. We are going to see a 17 Nexus now come in. The probe is wandering around. However, Brad, uh, Braddock is going to spot this 17 Nexus and this is perhaps going to be huge. The probe now forced to run away. SCV yeah, still giving chase. The front door has been blocked by a supply depot, so he pretty much knows that he cannot stick around for very much longer. Continuing to run away, perhaps he can do a double gas deal, but that is going to be very, very expensive as he knows that his opponent hasn't even gone for one gas just quite yet. Nexus is already two thirds of the way completed as we now see double gateways come in from White Raw. So um, the double gateway is more of a response, hoping that um, if Bratok. <laughs> perhaps goes into triple barracks now like he is he will have enough zealots to counter it there is no command center being built right now so Bratok is really going to try to push up this ramp with a large number of unupgraded marines and then deal damage that way excuse me now he is going into the refinery so he may be trying to go into marauders in tech lab as I think that is the only other real viable option at this stage. Harvester count 18 to 17 here as the SCV still wanders around. A Zealot is being chrono boosted. Cybernax Core now finally being added. We should be getting double tech labs in just a moment um, if there is enough gas on each of these barracks. And if that is the case, um, we should see a lot more units so, or maybe even triple tech labs. So we'll see what's going to happen here. There's one tech lab. There's a Marine and no, so it is just going to be one tech lab, the standard play, one tech lab, double training Marines, only single training Marauders, as we are now going to get a bunker on the front door as an SCV is able to return home after all of that initial scouting. I had originally thought that uh, the Terran player may try to uh, be a, a f just really aggressive with his larger uh, larger um, production building count. He is now going into Stim, so trying to get Stim first. He is not going into Marauders just quite yet. He is getting a fair amount of gas. He may try to just go a factory and then go into a starport. And that way, Zealots are now coming back around. There is going to be three Zealots against six, seven Marines plus the help of a bunker. That bunker gonna get in a lot of damage onto those zealots. One zealot may get taken down. The second zealot actually gonna take a little bit of damage as well as White Rod not careful with his zealots. And that was just a really, really bad play there. We are going into a second tech lab and, and the reactor. So double training up Marines and Marauders. He definitely needs to start getting concussive shells and Marauders to start battling against those stalkers. Stalkers with superior range and faster movement speed able to kite those units 33 probes versus 21 scvs now uh, what is going to be happening here as brad talk does have a fair amount of marines he should be getting stim in just 
another minute and a half or so as we do see what pylons all set up and white raw sitting on a very strong economic advantage but he has spent also a lot more on his economy spending 1100 more minerals and has it really paid off yet is going to be the key question the income tab shows that he's getting about 200 additional or 300 additional resources a minute braddock not being or allowed to train up those uh, mules or use those mules and save the energy for mules as Bradhawk now stops his SCV production. So this is a really a telltale sign. This may be an all-in attempt from Bradhawk as we are now about to finish Stim, Combat Shield, Level 1 Weapons Upgrade. And this is going to be a very strong timing attack. No factory, no starport, no additional units as White Rob perhaps going to try to come in with a counterattack. You can see Stalkers holding the center here. This is a very large group of Marines and Marauders. Concussive Shell now being completed. SCVs are being added into this group. Only five of them, though, as the Marines and the Marauders are going to finish that down there very, very quickly. SCVs have not yet been pulled off. Not quite sure why. They really need to join in on this fight as the Sentries and the Zealots and the Marines could stim, perhaps catch up to those units. Not going to stim, though. As the SCV is now making their way in, we are getting some sentries, some zealots, and is it going to be enough? That is the key, key question as Marines and Marauders are still coming in to reinforce. No, the gateways are currently... What's going to happen here as the zealots now need to perhaps push their way forward? This is going to be very, very dangerous. SCVs need to get in position. There's the force field. Both sides battling out. The Marines and Marauders have 1-1 one, one up or 1-0 upgrades. And the Marines are simply just going to tear through all of these gateway units there. Marines and Marauders now taking down the gateway units. And I believe Bradhawk just simply caught White Raw off or out of position. Here's the Marines and the Marauders going to run straight in, perhaps trying to take down some of these gateways. Uh, taking down those um, pylons would also work as well. One pylon down, a second pylon may get taken down. And if that does go down, some of those gateways, wow, five of the six gateways now unpowered. So double Artosis pylon there and there is the gg so brat talk coming in with a very very effective one zero timing push and just didn't even bother with a starport didn't bother with anything else i thought he needed to pull his scvs he didn't he just had all of his marines and marauders still come in in a single file line and brilliant play by brat talk to take down the two pylons powering the gateways by doing so, he stopped the reinforcements by at least another 25 seconds because a pylon needed to be warped in. And you could see that even White Raw had a fair amount of minerals in the bank at the point. You remember a lot of probes are pulled off here. Some probes are taken down. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening as we go into game three in this best of three series between White Raw and Braddock.